All right, what's up, everybody, and welcome to a quick guide on how to find and open up both secret caches at the port. And as you all know, finding these caches at the port is quite easy, of course. Coming across them and finding them, it's not really that difficult, but opening them up is a little bit of a different story. So with that being said, if you had difficulties grabbing these two caches, I hope this video is going to be helpful. Let's do this. In order to open up the first secret cache, you are gonna first of all put a few codes inside the safe. Opening up the safe will then reveal a key that you're gonna then have to use in order to open up the cache. So get yourself the binoculars. Uh, in my case, I'm also gonna go ahead and get myself the sneak in disguise because I'm gonna need this one for the second cache. Um, you don't really need to grab these ones if you don't want to. I'm just doing it for the sake of it, just because I'm gonna grab in the second cache during the nighttime and I do wanna see what I'm doing. So that being said, now that you have everything you wanted, make your way outside and using the binoculars, look through the forest all the way to the right side and you are going to be able to spot your first number. Now, in my case, my first number is 2, but just in case the first number you're looking for is going to be 0, unfortunately, your secret cache is going to be glitched and uh, you are going to have to wait for a patch from a developer because apparently, if your first number is going to be 0, then something bugged out in the game, you're not going to be able to open up the safe. But getting past this one, looking for the second number now, use the binoculars once again and you will find the second code above the secure hangar 2, the R Corp hangar, and in my case, the number is 6. And for the third number, in order to grab this one, make your way inside the port. Go right next to the electric panel just before the guard is going to ask you to leave. And again, using the binoculars, you are going to be able to find the third code in the secure hangar 3, uh, right above one of the crates, one of the red crates. And in my case, the number is 5. Now, normally, this should be enough for you to open up this safe. Uh, you just need the three numbers and the fourth number you can just go ahead and uh, guess. And that is actually exactly what I'm doing here. You can go ahead and try to look for the fourth number, which also is going to be at secure number three on the side of the crate. But in order to get that one and spot it, you are going to actually have to make your way inside the port. Now, if you don't have the junior supervisor outfit, getting inside the port might be a little bit difficult because you are going to start getting chased. And the guards are definitely going to make your life miserable. But in my case, as you guys can see right now, I'm just using the codes 2, 6, 5, and the fourth one is just 3, the one that we guessed, and it works perfectly. And now that you got the safe open, grab the key, use it on the secret cache, and there you have it. You just opened up your first secret cache at the port. For the second secret cache, in order to get it, you are going to have to make your way inside secure hangar 1. In order to get there, you are going to have to go through the sewers. Now, what you're going to have to do here is just simply run all the way to the sewers as fast as possible using the fast running shoes or just simply use a car, I guess, to get there as fast as possible, jump out of the car and go inside the sewers. Once inside the sewers, go all the way to the top, past the second bridge and up the ladder. This will now get you inside Secure Hangar 1. But once you got inside Secure Hangar 1, the mission is not over yet because you are going to have to open up the fence, get yourself a forklift, as you will need this one in order to remove some crates from in front of the cache, as unfortunately you're not going to be able to open up the cache without removing these ones. And keep in mind, just in case you're doing this one late at night, do get yourself some coffee or energy drink just to make sure you're not going to fall asleep before you get this place cleaned up. Unfortunately, this takes a little bit of work as there are quite a few of these boxes that you have to remove. But once you've done it, then there you have it. You just got yourself your secret, secret cache at the port. And as a quick bonus video, now that we're still at the port here, just jump back on the forklift, make your way to the side of the uh, secure warehouse 1 building, and move those bricks away using the forklift of course. This will reveal a hole in the fence. Once you go through the fence, just run around it, and next up you are going to be able to dig out the first dingy hole at the port. Alright, and there we have it guys. Hopefully this quick guide is going to allow you to understand how to get all these secret caches at the port, and of course the bonus digging hole that uh, most people didn't really know how to do. And as usual, if this video has been helpful, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel because I'm brand new here, and I'll see you on the next one soon. Bye, everybody!